Who doesn't like a roast? And of all people to roast this man, Bernard Alexander, here to talk about it and why it's happening, State Representative Ed Ganey, Jane, Jamie Upshaw. And tell me the name of your organization again, Urban. It's um, the support group is Autism Urban Connection Thank Support you. Group. I knew I'd get it and wrong, we're that's under why. under Autism Connection, the PA. Okay, I knew I'd get it wrong, that's why I figured. <laughs> and then the man who's the net, well, I called you at the beginning of the show, the networking king. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thanks for having us. Why are you roasting him? So every year I decided to do a roast, me and Dave Calloway from the spot. Mm -hmm. And the roast is to bring attention to different illnesses that impact the African American community. So last year we did sickle cells and I roasted myself. Uh, this year we're doing okay. autism because there's a spike in autism and a lot of people don't know how to, you know, diagnose autism, know mm -hmm. exactly what it is. So nobody can explain it better than Jamie. So we had this somebody we could roast on Saturday, this coming Saturday, October 21st at 6 o'clock at the spot. And who better to roast than the network king himself, Bernard Alexander. Bernard so Alexander. we look forward to it again this Saturday at the spot at 6 o'clock. And we're asking people, we're asking the community to donate. We're only asking for $20 donation from the community. Mm -hmm. But we got to demonstrate we can raise money for different illnesses that impact the African American community. Absolutely. By saying, listen, we can't talk about it, we got to be about it. So we're asking the community to come on out and donate, spend some little bit of money, come up there and learn about a worthy cause because a lot of our people don't know what autism is. In Absolutely. And that's a good uh, segue to you, Jamie, because I think also not only do a lot of people not know what it is, even when they know, they don't want to address it. Absolutely. Um, um, autism actually affects one in 68 of our children, studies mm -hmm. have shown. Yes, and um, boys are five times more likely to be diagnosed than girls are. Mm -hmm. And also in our African American communities, our kids are being diagnosed anywhere from three to five years later than any other race. And that's because we're not aware of the signs and symptoms or that our children are also being misdiagnosed with ADHD opposed to looking at all of the criteria that meet for autism spectrum disorder. I was going to say, and there is a spectrum, so you can be on one end, the other, or in the middle. Yes, yes, yes. This is it's a very, very wide range. You know, for your high, high functioning to your low functioning, you have children that are nonverbal. Then you have children that their IQ or up to a genius IQ, mm -hmm. such as my son. Mm -hmm. My son's uh, six years old now, and he has an IQ of over a hundred in the first grade. Straight A student. Wow. However. His social emotional communication cues has mm -hmm. what's been off and what's been our barriers in um, in fighting with this autism diagnosis. Okay, so Bernard, how do you <laughs> talk you into doing this? I think I was voluntold. <laughs> <laughs> I, like I think I was voluntold by State Rep Ganey, but I'm excited for the possibility to help raise money from our community to support a worthy cause. Mm -hmm. Now, do you get to know ahead of time who some of the roasters are going to be? I put them together. Ed, Ed's oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah, I, to, be, to be honest with you, I had more people turn me down than people who actually wanted to actually roast well, me. Well, that's not, it's not an easy thing to do. I mean, it's fun, but it's not always easy. That absolutely. Why are you laughing? You, say, <laughs> no. you got some surprises? No, no, no. Because uh, uh, yeah. when I first asked him to do it, he was like, yeah, I said, but you got to select the list of people <laughs> that you want to roast you. I see. And I said, that should be easy for you because you got a whole network. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's true. He's like, Ed, I can't get nobody, man. Don't know. <laughs> Everybody, tell them about it. It was hard getting the folks that I did, and I'm a very appreciative. Um, they won't even tell me the material that they have oh, I'm, well, I'm, I'm, I'm literally in the dark yeah. but you're I mean we to. have a good crew of roasters um, good people from the community all walks of life and they're very excited to come out support crack a couple jokes on me and raise money for a worthy cause I, I was gonna say I mean so roasts are always fun um, I don't know about for the roasty but usually about a fun night for folks who haven't been to the spot out on mm -hmm. Frankstown. This is a good opportunity to come. Absolutely, have some laughs on Bernard's expense <laughs> and get more about autism. I mean, yes. you can't lose. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely, absolutely. And that's why we need the community to come out. Like I said, it's a twenty dollar donation. If you can get more, please give more. But it's going to be this Saturday, six o'clock at the spot, and we want to make sure that we can demonstrate that we can raise money in our community for a worthy cause. And you can buy tickets at the door. Yes, ma'am. And Jamie, will you have information available 
handouts for people who want more information about your organization or about autism? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, we'll have that available. But you can also visit our website at autismfpa.org. And um, you can find more information on the support groups and all of the services and, um, that we provide to um, families affected by autism. And I'm guessing for a lot of families, they might think that this could be an issue with their son or daughter. They need to take that step to find out because I'm guessing the sooner you get the support services you need, the better. Absolutely, absolutely. And it's really difficult out here nowadays, um, especially being as though with the child diagnosed on the autism spectrum, you have to have a licensed behavioral specialist consult. Mm -hmm. And we're very, very limited in that area in, mm -hmm. in the city of Pittsburgh. Um, so absolutely spread more awareness about this disorder. Um, hopefully we can get more service providers out there providing the services that our children need to make them productive of the citizens of society. Perfect. We got 30 seconds, Renarder. What do you think people are going to latch on to? The networking part? What are they going to, what are they going to make fun of? Oh, uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to have something to do with my social media pages uh, and okay. the types of oh, wait, conversations. Oh, the questions at night? Uh, yes. <laughs> the questions yes. at a night. That's yes. what it'll be. Yes. <laughs> That's yeah. what I'm fearful the most. Okay. <laughs> We're going to take a commercial break. Come back and wrap this all up in just a minute when the Lynn Hayes Feeling Check continues. Don't go.